Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. To set up payroll and employee defaults, select Maintain from the menu bar, roll down to Default Information, and then choose the Payroll Setup Wizard. Now you must set up your payroll item defaults before you set up your employee defaults. A Peachtree understands this, and even if you chose Maintain, then chose Default Information, and then chose Employees from the menu bar to set up your employee defaults first, Peachtree would instead launch the Payroll Setup Wizard to force you to set up your payroll items before doing anything with the employees. Now in Peachtree 2006 through 2000. Eight, if you're going to be performing payroll in-house, then you mer must first click the Payroll Setup Wizard link in the window that opens. Now this window then shows you the options for payroll that you have within Peachtree. Now in addition to doing it yourself, you can also enroll within a full service payroll service through the Peachtree program if desired. Now starting in Peachtree 2009, the option to perform payroll activities in-house or to use the Peachtree Full Service Payroll is built into the Payroll Setup Wizard as you click the Next button to continue through the screens. So here are the two different options. Once again, this is very much like the New Company Setup Wizard in that you answer the information shown in each screen and then just click the Next button to continue. Now if you are performing payroll in-house, then first you must specify if you want Peachtree to automatically update your payroll tax tables or if you would like to update them manually. If you want Peachtree to update your tax tables for you, then you have to click the Order Online Now button or select the checkbox to specify that you've already enrolled in the service. And once again, you just use the back and the next buttons to navigate through a series of questions presented in different panes that collect standard payroll information about your company file. So once again, it's very much like the wizard used to create the original Peachtree company file in the first place. So the payroll setup wizard guides you through the process of setting up default payroll general ledger accounts, create your standard payroll fields, and even optional payroll fields, such as 401k, vacation time and sick time tracking. Now when you're finished setting up your default payroll items for your company file, you may then create the employee defaults for your company file if needed. So here you can see the different types of pay, the general ledger account, You can set up any benefits that you would need. Set up your basic taxes. And once again, when you're finished, just click the Finish button to set up all the default fields that you're going to need for your payroll. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.